That is one of the quirks of the rule book, according to the representative of the NHL officials that I spoke to. But apparently, Gord Brossaker did see enough of the play to run. Man, what a hit there. I wonder what it would be called here. But Brossaker did see enough of it to call it as a spear. Barazan is down. While you watch this, the trainer, Bearcat Murray, is over-ministering to him. Rob Ramage is locked up with Randy Gregg. They are taking exception to the big hit from the locomotive from Edmonton, Mark Messier. I don't know that it was a cheap shot. I'd have to see it again. I was in the middle of explaining what had transpired with the McSorley incident. Barazan definitely got hit looking the other way, and McSorley, uh, or at least Messier, looked like he had his stick up. I'm not sure that he hit him with the stick or not. But one thing is certain, he did crank him. Big time. Well, you're right. According to the letter of the rule book, Bill, if there were no whistles blown on that play before the goal was scored, it's got to count. So I think basically it boils down to this. Gord Brossaker did not or did not have the time to blow down the play before the goal was scored. Look at Berzan reaching for the puck. Oh, Messier, you know he had his, he had his elbow in, didn't he? Berzan was in a very vulnerable position when he got hit from Messier. That's how you end up with your shoulders separated, just like that with Long Knight for a lot of the Flames, including Perry Berzan. Watch him lean forward. I got news for everybody. That's a pretty clean hit. I know Flames fans won't want to hear me say that, but that was a pretty clean hit, and it's unfortunate that Perry Berzan was reaching for the puck. There's Landy McDonald now on the right going after Mark Messier. I remember Gary Dornhofer in the 70s when we were about to win our first Stanley Cup in Philadelphia, playing against Boston, reached for the puck, and Don Marcotte of the Boston Bruins hit him just like that, tore his shoulder to ribbons, gave him a partial concussion, and...